Hi, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. And today I want to talk about the Manta Network. I did a video many weeks ago talking about the airdrop that was going to happen for Manta. And if you've already claimed your tokens, great. I want to talk about what you can do with those tokens to actually get more Manta and to get some yield. So if you haven't yet, you go to your uh, new paradigm screen and you can click on claim airdrop. I've already claimed my airdrop, but you can see all of this. You can claim your Manta. If you're claiming it into Rabi Wallet, you just claim it and you'll see your Manta, which is on the Manta Pacific chain. If you're using MetaMask, then you can add Manta to your wallet, which you, you know, you'll be able to see it once you claim it. So that's really the difference there. And then you had a secondary airdrop, which was into the blue. And these NFTs were a little undervalued at the beginning. So I missed this. So I was not a part of it, but there was an NFT that was mispriced that I talked about in our uh, members only discord alpha servers. And I was able to get some NFTs able to sell them, make a little profit on them. And then I used that to actually buy more Manta tokens. Uh, because I do believe in Manta long-term and they're free tokens, so might as well. Uh, but anyway, this was the other airdrop. You just click continue, and then you, you're able to claim based on the tokens that you have. So you can see I didn't qualify for any of these. Then you go to the Great Treasure Hunt. Click on your Treasure Hunt. And then these are all the NFTs that, that are available. And you'll be able to click on them and trade them for... Manta token. Um, I bought this one right here. It was super underpriced uh, a few weeks ago, and I was able to get some extra Ethereum for it and trade that into more Manta token. So what can you do with your Manta tokens? You can sell them right away like some people will, or you can keep them thinking that they will be more valuable in the future. I do believe they're more valuable in the future. You know, I talked about uh, several days ago, seeing Manta token going higher. Uh, when it started moving higher faster, sooner than I expected, but it is starting to move higher. So step one, you can go to uh, the Manta's website, their staking website, and you can stake your tokens. The only thing is you can see if you go to minimum stake, this is 551. Well, this started much lower. This was probably 500 or slightly above 500. The thing is, you, this number 100 right here, each collator, they call these collators, each collator has 100 delegations. So you have 100 delegator slots. So what happens when it goes over 100? Once it goes over 100, you can see this is 150 out of 100. Um, actually, all of these are have more than 100 in them. Once you go over 100, your top 100 stakers are earning the rewards. So that's that's what that means. So because of that, staking 551 just to be a part of this isn't that smart. You need to stake a lot more, knowing that that stake's going to increase in the future because you want to be one of the top 100 in this particular pool and this this is the minimum stake currently with 150 people and it is 551 but that will increase so just know that if you are trying to get in i, I do want to talk about the process because i know that's a little convoluted and a lot of questions come up about that so ideally you get a manta wallet and then if, you, if you're using Rabi Wallet, it's going to show up as MetaMask. If you're using MetaMask, it will show up as MetaMask. So, you know, that's the same. I, I use Rabi Wallet myself. I just love it. Uh, but anyway, you, you connect these two wallets, your Manta Wallet and then your either Rabi or MetaMask, which is basically the same thing. Uh, Rabi has a little more security. Uh, so you're on Manta Pacific because you received the airdrop and or bought some tokens. And you want to go to Manta Atlantic, which is the chain you need to be on in order to stake. So Manta Pacific is a layer two over Ethereum. Manta Atlantic is a layer one with Polkadot. So that's, you want to do this. So 
Manta Pacific to Manta Atlantic, and then you enter how many you want, and you hit go. It's going to cost a couple Manta tokens, most likely. Uh, could be one, could be two, uh, could be two and a half. It's, it'll fluctuate. But once you hit go, it will transfer from Manta Pacific to Moonbeam to Manta Atlantic. Sometimes this gets caught up. So uh, as you're switching from Manta Pacific to Manta Atlantic, sometimes it gets caught up. And if it's caught up, then you're in Moonbeam. So you would come over here and you would say, okay, well, my tokens are in Moonbeam and I need to get them to Manta Atlantic. And then you need the GLMR token. Uh, what I do did is I came in and I traded uh, Polygon for the GLMR token on Rocket X. That's the my favorite cross chain swap right now is Rocket X. It's been so for a few months. Um, I don't get anything talking about it. I'm just you know trying to tell you the best way that I feel is the best way. So I go Manta uh, Matic for GLMR. GLMR is fairly inexpensive. And it's only going to cost like one or two pennies worth. So it's going to be very inexpensive going from Moonbeam to Manta Atlantic. But then once you get that GLMR in there, you say how many you want and you transfer and it'll happen. And then it'll be in Manta Atlantic and you can go into staking and you can stake your Manta tokens. So that's uh, one thing to look out for. I was uh, staking Manta. And then it got a little bit more for me. Uh, the minimum went up. Delegators just increased. And I just let it set there. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, it kicked me out of the pool. So I was like, all right, well, that's great. I'll just transfer it back to Manta Pacific and then stake it into Layer Bank. And that's exactly what I did. So if you want to switch back, it's really easy. All you do is... You go Manta Atlantic to Manta Pacific. It's going to give you a uh, definitely GLMR cost. And I think it might, I think it's 0.37 Manta it cost. And you'll be able to swap. So the, the first cost is in Manta. But then once it, once it goes to Moonbeam to Pacific, it's going to cost you uh, GLMR. And it, this actually gives you all three steps. And you have to click something on each step. And it happens. So that's fairly easy. I wanted to walk through that process because I know it's a little convoluted and there's not a lot of detail out there on how to actually do it. Um, you also have IBC Fun, which you can use this to get to uh, uh, Moonbeam's GLMR with different things. Cosmos Hub with Atom, Arbitrum, Base, Binance, Celestia. Uh, there's an injective somewhere around here. So those are two of the exchanges. I like Rocket X because you can do just about any cross chain out there. Um, so I did mention you can stake your Manta on Layer Bank to earn more Manta. So let's talk about that really quickly. Uh, in my original Manta staking airdrop video, I talked about how I was going to bridge over my Ethereum and USDC and stake it into Layer Bank to give me an additional way to make more ADA. And if you look here, um, this says, you know, phase one ended. So this so obviously there's going to be more phases of the Manta airdrop. One of them is going to be coming through uh, Layer Bank. And if we scroll down here on Layer Bank, you have... Uh, this kind of tells you uh, lending, borrowing, staking. If you have any interactions, you're going to receive 200 points. Uh, you can see I have Manta points now. I just staked Manta earlier today. Uh, USDM Stone, and then anything that's not USDM Stone or Manta is going to show up here. And then TIA, of course, will show up over here. It's very interesting. So that's uh, kind of the difference there. If we grow, go down, this shows the market. So you can stake your Manta right here. You can see I don't have any because I, I staked it all. Um, but this basically is it. You get 0.68% uh, on your lab token because it's a 3x. 
normally is 0.22, and then you get a, a bonus Manta, uh, and overall you get 0.96% APR, which isn't fantastic, but it does give you more lab token and more Manta points. Um, why are lab tokens important? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, let me pull this up and we can talk about it. So if we go to the tokenomics, there's 100,000 tokens. You, you can see your liquidity incentives are lasting for five years, which is 44 and a half million tokens out of 100 million. So that's actually pretty cool. So most of most of the benefit is going to stakers of this particular platform. And it's going to be over five years. Um, everything else has, besides the initial liquidity, which was 100% at TGE, everything else was six month cliff and then 24 months linear investing, development fund, ecosystem fund, investors, and the layer bank treasury. Uh, 100 million tokens is not very much. So I do like that having the low amount. And then they're also having uh, linear 100,000 and scroll linear 100 million and scroll 100 million. That's what I meant to say. So, you know, those are also going to have huge moves. So I like that, that they're on uh, three different chains. They are really paying attention to the stakers rewarding. And one of the things I do like is if you go here, you, you can boost your active stake. And that's why I don't have any right now because I just boosted it a little bit ago. Uh, but you can start vesting, which takes 90 days. If you click on here, uh, vesting takes 90 days. If you compound, you automatically are compounding and it you know, takes 90 days, but you're actually compounding it. When you start vesting, you don't get any rewards. You just are vesting. So, and compounding takes less gas. So that's, that's kind of uh, the main thing there. But as far as layer bank, uh, the rewards are two times until January 31st, which is about a week away from now. So I wanted to talk about this, something you can do with your Manta to get more Manta. Um, I think if you're staking here, you know, you have to think that if you stake, you're going to probably get more airdrops within the Manta ecosystem. Um, is is it going to count if you're staking in Layer Bank? You know, I don't really know. You know, it's so new, but I do think that Manta is going to be a very good token, and you know, this gives you a good opportunity to, you know, get some more Manta. So, wanted to talk about that a little bit. Just share my thoughts with overall Manta and uh, layer bank. So with this strategy, you're getting lab token, which I think is going to be valuable going forward. And then Manta, which I also think is going to be valuable. So uh, definitely a fan of this, of this. And then after the two X goes away on the 31st, you know, you can do a couple different things. Like you can clean up some of, some of this down here. Like you can see that, uh, wrapped USDM, you get negative 4.8%. And then supplying wrapped USDM, you get a positive 5.21%, which kind of cancels that out and gives you a little bit of extra. Uh, supplying wrapped USDM, you only get 0.16% on your lab token, but then borrowing it, you get 3.71% on your uh, lab token for that particular one. You can see Stone also gives you a positive on supply, ETH is super negative. So ETH gives you a negative 48% borrowing, but if you supply it, you get 17.5%. Um, you get more lab, obviously, on your borrowing ETH, but also, you know, not terrible on your supply. So you get a little bit of extra. It allows you to double dip. I do like that. And then after the 2x goes away, you can clean up some of this and just get a higher... Uh, higher APR. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day.